If you want to know how you can make $10,000 on prize picks, you need to watch this video. My name is Logan. I'm a current Harvard student studying statistics, astrophysics, and computer science. And I'm super excited today to talk to you guys about how to use prize picks. We're going to go first through a brief description of how the app works. Then we're going to talk about what the most profitable kinds of slips are, and then where you can find picks to fill those slips. So if you watch this entire video, you should leave with an understanding of how you can make profitable slips on prize picks and maybe even hit a big one for $10,000. So if you want to be making money on prize picks, first, you need to understand how prize picks is different from a lot of other places that you might bet on sports. Here we are on FanDuel Sportsbook, a traditional style sportsbook that sets custom lines and custom payouts depending on how likely an event is to happen. For example, looking at the next Nuggets versus Heat Finals game, you can see Jokic's points line is set at 30 and a half. The overs favored at minus 128, while the unders at plus 100. This means that FanDuel thinks there's maybe a 55% chance that Jokic scores 31 points or more, and like a 45% chance that he scores 30 points or less. So they set their line at 30 and a half, and they'll pay you less money if he goes over, because that's more likely to happen, and more money if he goes under. Prize picks is similar, but importantly different. Prize picks, just like FanDuel, will set custom lines for each of their players. For example, they'll set Carl Anthony Towns' points line at 22, while Jared Allen's is at 15 and a half. But they don't vary payouts depending on if you choose over or under. So FanDuel uses a varying payout system where they'll give you less money for something more likely to happen and more money for something less likely to happen. Prize picks doesn't care how likely something is to happen. They'll give you the same payout whether you choose over or whether you choose under. That's a really important difference between prize picks and other places that you might bet on sports. So this page right here is prize picks, how to use prize picks screen. So they take you through how to deposit money and everything, but we're here talking about how you can make bets. So first you have to choose the number of player props. You can choose anywhere from two to six, and then you choose more or less. In order to be successful on prize picks, you first have to choose the correct number of player props and then you have to choose good player props and then choose more or less. In order to make money though, you need to be very good at both of those steps. If you make a mistake in the first step, it's really difficult to make money. And if you choose the wrong props, you're also not gonna make money. So I'll be taking you guys through first, how many player props you should have in each of your slips, and then where to find those player props and how to choose more or less. If you understand that, you understand how to make money on prize picks. To know how many player props to put in your prize pick slips, first, it's important to understand that there's two different kinds of prize pick slips. There's power plays and there's flex plays. With power plays, you need to hit all of your picks. You can do two, three, or four picks, but for example, with a four pick, if you only hit three legs, you lose all the money you risked. Now with flex plays, as the name implies, there's a bit more flexibility. You can take three, four, five, or six picks, and you can miss one or sometimes two picks and still get some money back. For example, with a six pick flex, if you miss two legs, you'll still get back 40% of what you risked. So flex plays are a little bit safer because you can miss legs and still get money back. Power plays are riskier, but looking here, a four pick power play pays out 10 times if you hit all four, whereas a four pick flex play pays out five times if you hit all four and 1.5 times if you hit three out of four. Just by eye, it's really difficult to tell which of these offerings are the most profitable. So we have to dive into some math. I threw together some code to model the payout structure of prize picks. So it's very easy to see here. We can just plug and play and see which type of slips are the most profitable. Here with num picks, we set the number of picks in the slip and then whether or not it's flex. We're setting the win chance for each leg at minus 125, which means it wins five out of nine or 55.5% of the time. So first, let's try a two-pick power play. With a two-pick power play, if you're winning 55.5% of the time, you're going to be losing 7.4% of your money in the long run. Now let's bump it up to a three-pick power. It's even worse, at 14% loss in the long run. Now with a four-pick power, again, you're losing money, this time 5%. Let's switch over to flex plays. If you go to a three-pick flex, again, you're going to be losing money, around 10%. Now with a four-pick flex, once again, you're losing money. So here we see that any two through four pick selection on prize picks loses money if you're winning as high as 55.5% of the time. Now let's bump it up to a five pick flex. With a five pick flex, you're making 9% of your money back. So that's 9% profit, that's pretty good. Now let's bump it up to a 6% flex. With 6% flex, you're making 13% profit, even better. So as this exercise demonstrates, five and six pick flexes are the most profitable type of slip on prize picks. 
even though two, three, and four picks are easier to hit, the five and six picks pay out so much better than the two through four picks that it actually evens out, and the five and sixes are way, way better. If you're taking two, three, or four picks on prize picks, you are very, very likely going to be losing money in the long run because prize picks makes it very difficult to beat them with two, three, and four picks. So now you should know that five and six pick flexes are the only type of bet that you should be taking on prize picks because two, three, and four picks are really, really hard to beat. Now, you know that you should be taking five and six pick flexes on prize picks in order to optimize your profit. But you might be wondering, where do you get the picks to put within those slips? Here's where OddsJam comes in. If you go to OddsJam and then the Fantasy Optimizer, you'll end up on this really helpful screen which tells you all of the mathematically profitable picks that you can take on prize picks. It compares all of the books that set varying payouts to find what outcomes are the most likely and highlights the good bets in green. So let's throw together a slip. If we take all of the green plays and then we throw on one yellow play to get it up to that five pick sweet spot, you can see we have a positive EV play because the EV is above zero. Now, if we bump it up to a six pick, we're even higher EV, nearly 3%. So that means if you risk $100 on this play over and over and over again, over the long term, you can expect to return about $3. Your chance of hitting big and getting that 25 times payout is around 2.6%. That's pretty low, but it's way, way higher than if you were picking randomly or based on intuitions. If you're picking randomly, you're going to win around 50% of the time. So hitting the whole slip would be 0.5 to the 6, which as a percentage is 1.6%. So you go from 1.6 to 2.6%, which means you're winning nearly 70% more frequently if you're using the Odds Jam Fantasy screen as opposed to picking yourself. You can see the payout goes from an EV of 3% down to negative 33% if you go from using the optimizer to picking on your own. So a tool like the Odds Jam Fantasy screen is very, very helpful in terms of making profitable picks on prize picks. So now you know everything you need to know about putting together profitable slips on prize picks. First, never take two, three, or four picks. Always take five or six pick flexes. And for the picks, make sure you're using the Odds Jam Fantasy screen. Using the Odds Jam Fantasy screen can boost your chance of winning that big $10,000 payout by more than 100% depending on how profitable the market is at a particular time. So I think I've covered everything you need to know about prize picks, but I may have missed a couple things. So please feel free to comment any questions you have or DM me on Twitter at Logan Odds Jam if you want to ask me personally. I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you learned a lot and I'll talk to you guys again soon.